All right, welcome to Creator Hardware. Today we're talking about my Proxmox free NAS install. And well, I should have just done Unraid. Let's get into it. Uh, things did not go well for me. And we're gonna talk about some of the problems I had. And well, the install video did not happen. It took me about five hours messing with it to actually get it working. And then I had a different hiccup. So we'll talk about that. All right, as you can see, TrueNAS is set up. I do have some things I'm gonna have to fix going forward, but this is what we got right now. Um, obviously it's in a Proxmox virtual environment. Now don't pay any attention to the 75% utilization of my storage in Proxmox. That's by design, it's all going to TrueNAS. Point of it is to have a network storage where all of my video assets are on my network so I can do things like have a render server for my videos. I have a render server, which is another Windows desktop that is the one I'm capturing this on that I send my video files over to via the network and it renders my videos for me so I can continue working on my editing PC. Just a workflow thing to speed it up. So I can save the file, move on to the next video and keep continue editing. Whereas if I'm rendering, it's sitting there rendering and I can't do anything else with Premiere. I can, but let's just be honest, I don't want to, you know, crash. So that was the whole point of it. Some of the stuff setting it up was 100% my lack of knowledge with Proxmox and TrueNAS. So I'm going to be honest, I've set up Unraid. I've never set up Proxmox. I've never set up TrueNAS. My Unraid server just kind of worked. <laughs> One advantage of, well, Unraid. I'm gonna do a video talking about that in a future episode, so get subscribed if you wanna see that where I compare my thoughts on TrueNAS versus Unraid. So I have TrueNAS set up. I have eight gigabytes of memory set up to it, virtualized through Proxmox. It's not enough. I'm gonna have to do an upgrade to double the RAM, just so I can allocate more towards TrueNAS. I may be doing a CPU upgrade too. The other thing is, is I found that transfer speeds over the two and a half gig network card that's in the motherboard probably isn't gonna be enough. I'm actually not currently using this setup in my workflow right now because of some of those issues. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and double the RAM, order that. I'm also going to get a 10 gig NIC so I can hook it to my 10 gig internal network and just to make sure transfer speeds are not a bottleneck. Because right now, they kind of are. <laughs> but let's talk about some of the problems I had. First one was, well, me. I went to set up TrueNAS, install it, and none of my external drives, none of my one terabyte SSDs were showing up. Well, that was 100% me. I forgot to mount them in Proxmox. <laughs> so they weren't there. You know, I had to go back into Proxmox and, you know, mount them, whatever you want to call it, you know, turn them on so they know that they're there. And then when installing TrueNAS, I screwed up. And one VDEV, you notice right there only shows three disks. Yeah, I can always go back and uninstall and reinstall whatever or add another VDEV or whatever I want to do. So I'm not real super concerned about that. It is what it is right now. I have, you know, 1.6 tibby bytes of storage. That is my unfamiliarity with, well, TrueNAS. So I'm not blaming TrueNAS. Now I went after I got everything finally done after way too much time, which was why there was no video because it's like two hours of video footage of me just sitting there searching and doing stuff and trying to fix stuff. So anyway, after all that, turned the camera off, screwed around with it, finally got everything working, set up my network shares, great, tested them, both PCs could connect to them. I set it up in media encoder, which if you notice, there is only the server that is Unraid, there is no other one. You know, if you don't know anything about uh, media shares, everything has to be shared over the network. So both PCs that are working on that project 
can find the files. Because if they can't find the files, they can't render it. So it has to be on a network share. Now here, this is my Unraid server. And I had set up a network share using FreeNAS. Everything was good. I tested it. Everything worked exactly like it's supposed to. At the end of the day, I needed to do other stuff. So I shut my systems down, came back the next day. And well, I couldn't get access on either PC. Could get access to the TrueNAS server, could get access to Proxmox. Either Windows computer would log in to the share, changing nothing other than shutting off my PCs. <laughs> so I'm not blaming TrueNAS on that. I'm blaming Windows because obviously something broke with the Windows part of it because literally I could not log into it. TrueNAS was up, everything would work. I could log in on a, the root. It would not let me log in on those network shares at all. So I burned it down and set up a new one. <laughs> and let's see. See, and there is the TrueNAS share. I decided since I've got a little, I need footage from off of recordings transfer them while this video is recording onto TrueNAS. <laughs> so we'll see how that does. There shouldn't take that much time. It's just OBS files in uh, MKV. So they shouldn't take a whole lot to transfer. But, and I'm not on 10G on this PC. So take that with a, uh, you know, it is what it is. Cause this is, this PC is not 10G, so. All right, so <laughs> lock me out again. <laughs> Don't ask me why this keeps happening, but it keeps locking me out. So here is test files, and so it should <laughs> work. But we'll see, because it keeps locking me out. Um, that's the biggest problem I keep having. It keeps not, password doesn't work. It just doesn't let me into the share. So if you don't know what I'm doing wrong, let me know in the comments. Um, I don't ch change anything, but I have to go back in there and do stuff and add same, put the same password back in and all of a sudden it works again. So I don't know. But this is the problem I've been having with TrueNAS is like every time I go to use it, I get, I get locked out. As for credentials I put them in and I get locked out so I'm not I'm don't <laughs> this is the struggle I've had so it's been frustrating um, not gonna lie it's been pissing me off because it's like every time I go to use it it locks me out and I know I'm doing something wrong I'm not blaming TrueNAS it's just like as soon as I go to, to move on with the project I get locked out. So it's not been fun. Um, I've probably got, you know, six, seven hours into setting up TrueNAS and I haven't been able to use it. Now, as soon as I log out of this, it'll probably lock me out again. So yeah, hasn't been fun. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's like I set up a, you know, I don't know. I keep playing with it. You know, the whole part part of this fun stuff is to play with it, but it's it's just been frustrating. So <laughs> that's been my Proxmox journey <laughs> so far. Let me know in the comments if you know how to fix that on Windows, because it's got to be a Windows problem. It just has to be a Windows problem, not a true NAS problem. But I could be wrong, and searching has found me not really anything that's helpful to keep me getting logged in where it doesn't lock me out. So as always, thanks for watching. This is Creator Hardware.